blue palace. What the hell is in the blue palace? What is it? Dragons? Oh, hey, we're the hired thugs here to kill you. Yeah, we don't really want to kill you. We'll see you later. Why did they want to kill you? Did they have a note? Okay, I'm supposed to talk to someone. Ooh, this is what that thing looked like. Chorus eggs. Charis. Who the hell's Erdy? Oh, hello. Just tidying up. Hello, Erdy. I want to talk to your queen. Or Jarl Elisif the Fair. Please don't interrupt the court. Oops. It's coming from that cave. There are strange noises and lights. We need someone to investigate. Then we will immediately send out a legion to scour the cave and secure the town. Hafengar's people will always be safe under my... Your Eminence, my scrying has suggested nothing in the area. Dragonbridge is under Imperial control. This is likely superstitious nonsense. Perhaps a more tempered reaction might be called for? Oh, yes, of course, you were right. Falk, tell Captain Aldous I said to assign a few extra soldiers to Dragonbridge. Thank you, Jarl Elisif. What about the cave? <clears throat> I will have someone take care of the cave as well, Vardius. Rest easy. You're dismissed. Okay, so court is over. I've got what I came for. I better get back to Dragonbridge. I've done my part. Dragonbridge will have extra guards. Folk Firebeard will find a way to take care of the cave. I'd better get going. Okay, I'll talk to Jarl Elisif the Fair. If you have business, please see Folk Firebeard, my steward. Oh, I thought that matter was handled. I think Folk is taking care of that. Hmm. A question I am all too familiar with. One my very thanes ask often. I want to become the thane of solitude. So focused on the war that he risks forgetting what's best for our people. The real irony is that while General Tullius is certainly no Nord, the people of Skyrim would be lost without him. Trust is always difficult, especially for my people. Yet we must trust in Tullius's leadership. For what other choice do we have? Not yet, no. Although it is true my husband Torig was the High King, and I am his widow. Now is not the time to lay claim the to the High title. Queen of Skyrim? The, riven by war. the fig is a and High Queen of Skyrim? Skyrim. Is she like the supreme the ruler? The cloaks are a blight on Skyrim. And like any blight, must be purged. Only then will I take my rightful place as High Queen. Because that's what traitorous cowards do when they desire power. Ulfric coveted the High King's throne. He thought he deserved it more than Torik. And so he came before my husband and he... He shouted. With that terrible voice. Like something out of a legend. Or a nightmare. When Ulfric unleashed such fury... My husband, he... He simply ceased to be. Oh, Ulfric is, is a... Is a... Dragonborn. Or it grieves or not, me well, not really. He's just got the voice. Do you like my outfit? It's quite fetching, actually. The craftsmanship is excellent. It was made by Radiant Raymond. Oh, really? Well, you can tell them that I will be putting in a request for a few dresses quite soon. Wow. <laughs> okay, I'm getting the figure out of here. Let's talk to well. Falk Firebeard. Have business with the court. You mean the Dragon Bridge issue? I'll be honest with you. I was planning to let that go. Varnius is a bit jumpy at the best of times. There have been reports of weird happenings near Wolfskull Cave. Travelers disappearing, odd lights. I suspect I wild animals, the one to... or perhaps bandits. I don't think it's worth our time with the war going on. But if you want to clear out the cave, I'll make sure you're repaid for your work.
That remains to be seen. By rights, she has a legitimate claim as High Queen of Skyrim. But we must have the support of the other Yarrows for that claim to have any meaning. Should they accept her rule, we will have peace. Of course he does. What sort of a question is that? Maybe you've been listening to Erika. There's been loose talk among some of the Thanes. And I suspect he's the cause of it. You'll pay those rumors no heed if you wish to retain your welcome in this city. She may be young, but Elisif is the Jarl by right. And here in Skyrim, if nothing else, we respect the traditions of our father's fathers. You do well to remember Oh, Well, there, Falk Firebeard, jeez. The cave has a bad history. Long ago, Potema the Wolf Queen used it for necromantic rituals. That's where it got the name. That was over 500 years ago. Nothing much down there now. But everyone's always convinced the cave is haunted. Feel free to return to me with questions. If I needed something from you, you would know it. Nothing. I'm busy. And I don't like being bothered unless I'm expecting something from you. Oh, don't give me that look. Fine. I suppose I can find some menial task to set your mind on. Hmm. We have something of a vampire, a vampire problem. Oh, Bodies God. With blood drained. I know of a den nearby you can wipe out as a precaution. I don't expect you to be capable of even that. I was to my shame. The whole court was in attendance. I've seen much in my time, but that was a gruesome day. Because Ulfric needed a symbol. What? Someone he could defeat that represented Fight the him. Empire. Kill him! The white gold concordat. The banning of Talos worship. Torig's father Islot had held Skyrim together for nearly 25 years. When he died, Torg became that symbol. No, even after Islot died, the moot voted to make Torig High King of Skyrim. But Ulfric was at that moot, continually talking about Skyrim's independence in terms just shy of treason. I don't think Ulfric knew how much Torg respected him for that. If Ulfric had asked Torg directly to stand up, to declare independence, Torg might have done it. Because the Dominion is a sleeping beast that Skyrim cannot slay alone. Because many Nords are part of the Imperial Army even now. Because the food and resources we get from the Empire are important to our people. Because even if we can't openly worship him, Talos the God was once Tiber Septim the Man. And this is his Empire. And Torg wasn't ready to let it fall apart. I was a member of the court during the reign of Torg's father. It was Torg who appointed me to the position. Very. I helped raise him. Oh, I could not have been more proud to see Torg on the throne. He made a fine king. A fine king. I can teach you, but I won't be held responsible for what you do with the knowledge. Nice. Nah, Learn some destruction magic. Oh. The vampires are fine. She is just making fun of my intelligence this whole time. Vampires are clever hunters, more intelligent than you. Ha 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 ha, noob. Dude, this, this orc has blood all over him. He must have just slaughtered a pig for his family. <laughs> I got totally stuck and lost in this town. I was just like, I don't, even, I don't even know what I was doing eventually. Let's go to this farm. The cow is one of Skyrim's most common domestic animals. No. No, it's not. Why 
I don't enjoy this. Oh, I think there's a shrine up here. There's a shrine of something. Honestly, no idea. I'm going to it though. I think I'm heading in its general direction. Yeah, let's put a torch on. Yeah, so it was always like that in Oblivion though too. You'd always have like 400 of them in your inventory. And they never weigh anything. Oh yeah, the skeleton key was awesome. Okay, there's a shrine just above me. I'm getting so much glare on my TV, thank you. has been vanquished from my room. I found the statue to Meridia. A new supplicant approaches. Oh my god. Listen, hear me and obey. A foul darkness has seeped into my temple. A darkness that you will destroy. But But first you must restore to me my beacon. I shall guide you unto it. Find it and return here, and great shall be your reward. Find Meridia's beacon. <laughs> <laughs> 